better cards in his mind. Oh, isn't but... it going for it? Look at this. Oh, wow. Oh, my Makes Broadway. Goodness. This is just horrible. A... Well, oh. Jack on the river. Wow. We're well, you're just... thinking of river cards. That was it. What? Wow, he's burning all the time. What's up, poker fans? Welcome back to another Black Cash Poker video, where we bring you the best highlights and moments of the most entertaining poker events. Before getting into it, we would like to ask you guys to hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoy our videos, as your support is allowing us to continue posting videos consistently. So Zeno's not sure whether he wants the hat on or not. Yeah, but he's in between. He's having a good hair day, so it's tough. <laughs> Speaking of hair, <laughs> oh, so we had him in, he was talking, of course, bubble of the one million one drop oh way back goodness. when. He was yeah. on that and he was like, this is going to be a sweaty bubble. He was a short stack and it lasted exactly one hand. He, he, who, I, I do forget what happened, but he, he made was, it in there, right? He made it in there and it was a Sam Trickett. Ray's called it off with King 8, I think Mike says, and busted a guy. Okay. And, uh, and yeah, so forevermore, Mike has sworn that Sam Trickett's his life hero, and he that's loves awesome. him so much. That is, uh, that's a tough one to bubble. I mean, we can talk about bubbles, not, you know, the buy-ins, is it all relative, but a million dollar bubble is, uh, that's significant. Oh, look at this. Maybe with that bubble consideration, Parada just flats ace-king against Isidore's early position raise. Interesting. That does not play well for, for, uh, for John. John, yeah, yeah, if this type of stuff's going to happen. Uh, get Victor in the pot with pocket sixes. Two in well, King 9 5, gut shot is a dirt, top pair 4 for Aldo. I, I like the flat. The thing that the, to consider when flatting is when you do go multi way, now this is a kind of the problem. Like you actually flop top top, and I mean, it's a dicey board. Like you have the big blind in there, you have. Isildur has a can that has a bunch of equity, well, has a gut shot, and then, you know, let's say it came king six nine. Like, is he, right. you know, now you're just, you're allowing that hand where you would have folded a few three bet to be in there, and you could potentially lose a massive, massive yeah, pot. So, so sometimes three bang is actually the, the less variance route than flooding with a hand like ace king. Yeah. Well, Isildur is going to bet that gut shot. Can you imagine if Rado will just call here. That's better, Darren. Let's see. When you have flat with ace king and it's come king high, things are looking pretty good. Yeah, and this is about as good a scenario as he can have. Um, you know, it's a, it's interesting to see what type of cards is is Isildur. Is he gonna, you know, Victor's gonna go away? What kind of is he gonna be continuing to apply pressure? Right. Um, but for certain. From Rado's point of view, obviously Isildur's open up early position. He doesn't really have any of the two pair combos here. I'd right. imagine. Uh, yeah. Oh no, he's not. Too, he likes king. his hand a lot. So obviously the nine on the turn, a good card for his ace king. It's unlikely Isildur would have. See better nine on that board. Again, what I think Rado will think. Yeah, no, this is for sure one of the better cards. He doesn't have to worry about. Yeah, even like the, if a a jack ten or queen, that is something he would definitely be right. worried about. A possible gut shot that he's betting a heart would be cons alarming uh, immediately. So yeah. this is for sure one of the the better cards in his mind. Well, is it going for it? Look at this. One million bet with just his gut shot. One million fifty thousand. Yeah, what a lot of pressure. Well, Ferrado does have ace king, so unfortunate timing for him. This is all working out well for Ferrado. It is, but uh, it's um, Isildur's that kind of guy though too. Neil, he's got to be realizing if he flats here, he's the type of player that is capable of shelling that all in, having him covered on the bubble. And um, yeah, although you do feel great having ace king, it's you know about the best hand you could have here, flatting pre your hands under rep for sure. And it's less likely Isildur has aces. Uh, it's still it's a little scary. I mean, you, you just got to realize you're going to call here. The pot's going to be massive. And going to the river, you're gonna, you could be put in a tough spot. Yeah. He's using a time chip here, but... Also, you start seeing the replays. You've seen, you mentioned Isler has had aces a lot this week. Yeah, <laughs> could I mean, he have aces? He's not, he's not got crazy out of line at any point. Right. Obviously, Ferrado made a hero call against him earlier and lost. But I think, obviously, with a hand like Ace King, he's just. You know, he's no, he's, not, definitely, he's, he's definitely continuing. Yeah, I, think I think he's he just. Thinks, I think he probably knows he's got his little damn badge there. Of course, Ferrado doesn't have a heart either, so he didn't block any of those flush draws. Cool. So. Does make the call, so I've got big pot building here. John's loving this, right? John's yeah, John's like, oh, going, please, Wait someone get cooler. This could happen already. And we see Ferrado with a pot size bet back. If Isidore is going to go for bullet number three. He might shove a lot in. Well, Ooh. ace on the river. Ferrado top two now. And this is a really weird spot, right? This is interesting that. Um Isildur could actually, this is a card he could be thinking, oh, maybe my opponent is king-queen suited, well, king-jack suited, was, and is, is hanging on. This is one I think he's going to be... Yeah. Well, that gonna was going to be my question. I mean, 
Obviously, Ferrado, he doesn't expect Ferrado to have Ace King, I guess, that often. So maybe he's thinking if he's got Hanlon King, Queen, can Izzardo now rep? Uh, well, can Izzardo make him fold now? Obviously, we see Ferrado's never going to fold this hand. Wow. Even, I mean, how much did he bet? 2.5 2. million. So it is most of Ferrado's oh. chips. He does call. Cool. Izzardo shows the Queen high. Ferrado picks up a huge pot to start this final table and takes the chip lead, in fact, I think, with that 9.7 million just ahead of Darren. Wow. Such a beautifully executed hand. Such a beautiful run out for his hand as well. I right, mean, just yeah. no no scare. I wonder if Izzledur went all in, if it would change. I don't think so. Maybe he would have thought a little longer, but I think I he's think just, he's you know, just too calling, good. You're yeah. at the top of his range. Storm, storm and breaks. As well, Chance will raise it up. He's, he's had to watch people play a few hands. Chance is like, I'm not, I don't want to miss out on some fun here. Yeah. Queen seven and nine. Rooting, oh. rooting for, for John. <laughs> How much are you playing now? He asks Izzledur. I don't know. <laughs> this many. <laughs> <laughs> like, usually I just look at the 20 screen 20. and it tells me. And wow, what a flop this is. Ace, oh, queen, shit. deuce, two diamonds, chance, now, second pair, and the flush draw. Ildodo with top pair. Now, this bodes well for John. This is a potential scenario where this could get out of hand. I thought he was reaching for a raise there, maybe. That would be sexy. Quick call. You can see Isler looks a little flustered about that last hand. It just kind of like, you know, he was in con commanding control, and now he is. Oh, that is the nuts for chance. I mean, what a turn card. Yeah. I mean, a little double check. Like he does the old double check of the cards. You know, I love that. You know, usually when I see people do that, it to me it means they have one diamond. Right. Like they have one of a suit. Checking. Was that yeah. red card? Yeah. One was it? Was diamond? it? Yeah. Exactly. Do I have ace jack off with the? Or Ace X with the, the with the whatever or whatever you know. So I think that I wonder if he was just double really double checking or if that's just like a balance that he does. Even another look, check. Look again. No, as well. That's a live. That's live. I mean, I've seen launching these guys a lot. That to <laughs> me just always they have it. But you know when he looks back at that, that second time right at the end. But but one thing I'd be pretty sure of is Isildur doesn't look at that kind of stuff. Yeah. Isildur just plays the situations. He, and he's that big on his. Uh, that's funny and true too. It's live stuff. Say he make he gets he gets away from all the spots, is it? Is he using a time bank? Yeah, and uh, Isidore obviously plays super fast as well, so it's pretty rare. Well, he's using time bank to play with his. Uh, he looks with visibly his flustered. I mean, like you know, he starts the final table. What, what position was he in? Second or third? I mean, he yeah. was just super comfortable into a bluff gone wrong, into now a really dicey spot versus. You know, this is the thing too. If this is a player, um, you know, on the little snugger side, it's probably a lot easier to get away. But Chance is just so capable, and one of the reasons you see Chance build big stacks is he puts a lot of pressure and plays a lot of hands. So he's gonna be. He gets paid a lot more on his big hands. And he does make the call. Wow. Oh it my makes Broadway. Goodness. This just is horrible. The absolute. The. I haven't seen a run out this bad since. I don't even know. I mean, this was like literally. <laughs> I, I can't even think of an analogy. Like this is like went from worse to to terrible. This is literally. I mean, Chance might even. He might bet like pot. I mean, yeah, this is the situation, right? What he could over. He could Isildur shove. Can call a river shove. But what do you think, Isildur can call a river with it? Is it just? I mean, obviously, you can have a lower flush. He could have a hand like Ace Ten or Queen Ten. He has he moved all in it. to try and get it. <laughs> wow! Isildur thinking, what is happening? It's just staring him down. <laughs> what a great spot! You're not. You're just in the. You just have the nuts against Isildur, who's in the middle of basically a full meltdown. Yeah. And this one is un un unavoidable. I mean, this is just a sick hand. He does need a doctor. I see the doctor emotes out there, and they are. He needs a. He needs a medic. Uh, <laughs> another time chip going in the middle. This is awesome. This is what a hand. This is this is uh, the the opposite. You know, is it for like a legendary, memorable hand for Isildur, he's gonna. You know, he can hit replay that call he made. This is like this final table is oh. basically gone. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> he went they're the moving fake. closer. He calls. That's it. That is it. Chance will knock him out of the nuts. And as quick as that, we have broken our bubble. And John, Incredible. John's like, well, he goes, thanks. John's like, I owe you a beer. Wow. And Isildur, as you say, came in as one of the chip leaders on this final table, went for the three barrel bluff against Geraldo, and then backdoors are straight against the nut flush here. As quick as that, Victor Blom is the bubble boy. Good sportsmanship is shown here all around. Everyone shaking hands. The two, the two bubble boys, the photo bubble boy and the, the actual bubble boy. You know, we had the, the double bubble. Everyone, everyone, good sports, high stakes players here. All know each other. 
and uh, very good sportsmanship. That's one of those things too, like when the TV element comes out, when it's televised, like, you know, it's, it's funny because such great players like, like Isildur, who know boards and they just have that they know like what the optimal and the right play is so like when that ace comes out like i'm curious you know it's like one of those things where he just knows that's where i'm supposed to rep i'm supposed to get him off of a king i'm supposed to go for it and like almost like maybe sheepishly if he like check gave up with queen high on that river card it would almost be like you know the, the legend of isildur like he's just like a you know he's a beast not afraid but not saying he wouldn't do it if there wasn't cameras. I just think that's one of those spots where you know he just feels almost sometimes people feel obligated i think to make plays um you know, when it's yeah. just like you're on TV and you know the right, you know it's right, like fundamentally sound right. So, well, very interesting hand. Chance, Karen, on this, Laurent run raises the hijack queen nine, might be the best hand. And of course, a draw. Make that call with king high and a gut shot. Well, oh. Jack on the river, wow. We well, you're just thinking of river cards, that was it. Of course, any eight is straight. That many eights that check call the turn as opposed to leading the turn themselves. I guess he could have eight, seven, and. And chance. Gonna. So that's definitely, that's definitely a very connecting card. I mean, that's out of the, right. the cards you don't want to see, that's probably the top one. I guess the six or the jack. Also, if he had an eight, is there any way he would maybe even just check? Like, it's kind of like, yeah. like maybe chance could be betting his gut shot with Queen King. Um, there's the boards paired as well, so it's like maybe wow. he's... Chance does let it go. Okay, thank you. Okay, so what can you tell me about this lineup on this uh, 25k final? Well, all players we've seen already this week, of course. As Chris raised this one up. Raudo flat, and John moves in that short stack. He's all in for 940,000. Yeah, and Chris will really wants to call this, but with Raudo behind, I think it's a little difficult. Of course, Raudo will snap call. And it is off to the races here for Feraldo and a King 4 4 1 club flop. It's a good flop for John. Well, 10 on the turn. That's much better than the backdoor flush draw. That is the hand leading. And just needs to fade an 8 now. And if he does, he will eliminate John in 7th place. And it is a deuce. So John was our shortest stack, has now fallen in 7th place. He picks up $60,000 for his efforts. Of course, with that bust out, everyone now guaranteed $80,000. <coughs> they are playing for 375 first prize. It's proud of defense is 8-9. Charles checking his suits there. Thanks to Hart, seven of clubs. They have the same suits. And they've both hit a pair on the flop. Yeah, big flop for Proud of top pair and a gutter. Charles. Second pair. You must have had fun with Chance's name. <laughs> chance has every chance. Many a pun about. Well, Ferrado, imagine. We'll start betting here. Chance won't be going anywhere with that second pair. Flop that does favour Ferrado's range a lot more than Chance having raised under the gun. Well, they're probably less true of chance than any other player given he plays the widest range of hands. Ferrado bets for 425. Chance will call. You know, Ferrado's going to bluff this board a lot. Chance is a lot. Just over card combos here. And he does make the call, so we're going to see a river. 1.7 in the pot. A few bluffing cards could come. That's not one of them. No, that's a terrible card for chance because most of Fraudo's bluffs have now improved to a pair or perhaps better. Spades did miss though. It's the one bluff Fraudo could still have. I'm just going to think if it's likely that chance can really ever have a 10. Doesn't I think he's going to see bet 10 8 and jack 10. So it's very unlikely, so Ferrado will be pretty sure he's got the best hand right now. He does bet 800. Like I say, it's such a terrible river card for chance to see that 10. All Ferrado's bluffs, barring the spades, have got there. And chance does, of course, have a 7, blocks some two pairs. Makes the call. Well, nice pot here yeah, for Ferrado. 
Looks like Blue One Chance down to under 7 million now, having been the chip leader just a few moments ago. A little bit less. 1 million and 40 is the bet. This is a big three bet there from Chance, but Darren is going to yeah. call in position. And definitely wants to see a flop with this hand yeah. to the flop. Well, Queen 10 3. Chance 2 overs and a gut shot. Darren with second pair and the lone spade in the hand. And he spots and looks like Chance is going to as well, of course. He's yeah. taking the lead pre flop. Flop to gut shot and two overs. He does make the call. Now, obviously, if a jack comes on the turn, he'd have a pair of the strike draws. So he'd probably think he's in good shape. A spade would be good for him. He's paired the queen. If he's going to bet. His stack size has got to be right so that he's not going to be committed. 1.5 million the bet. He's going to figure it out. He's not folding. I like this. I just don't think he bets aces and kings. No. He basically only bets a queen and then some of his bluffs. And Either checks it and lets it go or shoves the lot in. Six of hearts is a miss. Uh, waves the white yeah, flag. He's going to check, check it check. back quick and uh, he's going to be delighted to see that he made the right call on the turn. A chance had to give it up. Fired two barrels, but uh, of course, chance does still beat some hounds on the river, I guess. Yeah, you know, like the miss, the miss combo draws. Um, Darren then, well, takes a big, another chunk out of chance, and chance has gone from chip leader to very short here. I don't know what hands you're going to raise fold with. Well, look at this, Victor finds ace king the very next hand, it moves it all in with Zeno, lets the fours go. He will jam those, that's for sure. And well, Chris with ace three suited, he lets that go. Picking up 350 a time. Yeah. Ask people after the hand. We have a limited time to think. So. Well, Chance is going to call this hand. Count. I promise you that much. Yeah, I need an exact kind of thing. Really? This was the For the anyone else, this would be a slow roll, Victor. But for you, it's a very tough spot. Thank you for respecting me. <laughs> <laughs> I think Chance should. Uh, <laughs> Oh, he's calling once he sees them. Well, of course he's calling. I don't think there's actually any need to count, but uh, he's, he's lucky that it's uh, not the previous hand that he found pocket tins. There we go. It does make the call. They are off to the races. Victor behind just with his ace king. And is he at risk of elimination here? Well, nine, six, five, all good so far for Chance. There is, there is a backdoor yeah, heart draw for Victor here. Seven, eight, yeah, seven, eight wouldn't be much good. Yeah. <laughs> Give Chance his <laughs> top <laughs> higher straight. Well, yeah, he's called for a run out or losing the pot. Seven, eight of hearts, though. Yeah, a couple oh, of seven, eight of hearts isn't even good. <laughs> no, straight seven, flush. Seven, eight of hearts will give Chance a straight flush. Got a couple of hearts. Three on the turn, changes nothing. Victor down to just one card. Needs an ace or I saw you a do this earlier. king. <laughs> you got to counteract the play. Is that mine or yours? Well, Wait, Deuce on the river, Could no good for Victor. He leaves in sixth <laughs> place, picking up $80,000 for his efforts. Okay. And well, Chance now uh, recovered some of those chips, back up to five and a half. The Fraudo with the first genuine hand I've seen since I've sat in the commentary <laughs> box, Pocket Jacks. Hey, Bobby's. Uh, uh, they used to be called, uh, but do you remember Chandra? Chandra? Used to be called what, sorry? Bobby's. That's what Chandra Bobby's. and Lally. <laughs> I remember Shana, but I don't remember calling them Bobbies. Yeah, just to call them Bobbies. Chris defends King Six off it from the big line. <laughs> well, King Five Seven flop. One check. That is the one he was after. Now ahead of Ferraro's Jacks. I'm having a great time. How about you? Oh, of course. I can just tell how happy you are right now. I like these final tables. They're fun. <laughs> I like, like, any, I like any fun. final table. Yeah, that's a comment. <laughs> I lost a bunch in the market um, today. More than, more than that? Yeah. More than you've locked in so far? I actually lost 103 bits. Well, Fernando's uh, going to see bet here. Today. Yeah. He's down to yeah. just two outs. Make him make it back. Chris, Chris is the type of player just to flat yeah. cool. One more page on. What's the conversion? 0.75? Oh, no. Conversion. <laughs> I don't know. Check, check I forgot what I'm playing for real money. <laughs> I'm not sure he's going to call here, of course. Yes. So many great turn cards as well, if he were to be beat. Yeah. Given he has a six, 
point on the turn. That's a terrible card for Ferraldo. Let's check, check. I won't say a terrible card. I said that without thinking, really. Of course, Christopher doesn't really have any Queen X hands. He's checked all the flop with, so it's kind of an irrelevant card. Just appears to be a bad card for him. But yeah, Ferraldo's going to check back some turns. This seems like a good candidate. Three checks. Let's check it back. Three on the river. <laughs> now, Christopher will fall. Maybe he has to bet here to get some value. I think Farad will check back most of the worst hands that he might call a river bet with. Four in the pot. 1.3 million. <laughs> 1.3 is the bet. Announced it quickly there before having to throw a time chip in the pot. Mm. Well, spot for Ferrado here. Obviously, four six got there, but the rest of the draws missed. He's made it a sizing here that isn't <coughs> and like a pair of sevens or a pair of fives. It's gone big. So he's saying, I've got a king or better. Well, he got the call, so well played there for Chris. Yeah, Chris is making it look like he's either got a hand like 6, 8, 8, 9, or has a hand stronger like a king plus, you know. Basically, he's going to flat all his hands that he's going to play. Oh. Well, a nice down at ace-9. This is a weird spot. Yeah, the problem is he, he can be calling here with king-queen, king-jack. So, yeah, I, I like that fold. I think it's just, it just makes more sense to get the way. Here. ICM fold. It's I fancy the jack-7. What do you reckon? <laughs> I'm going with the ace six. Oh. <laughs> Five, seven, nine. The ace nine would have been in good shape now. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. Not so good now as Zeno turns so two pair. And the king of hearts. So Zeno does double up. Chris with a small hit there. It wasn't Zeno. <laughs> Zeno now just above, or just below, sorry, the 20 big blind mark. Chance may jam here. Right, it would be a lot easier for him to jam on the small blind or the big blind. This seen as the fact that there's two players behind him. It's going to be a little concerned, even though that. I hope it's tougher, Chris, obviously behind, because if he does mm. want to play the hand, of course, Friday is the opener. He's not getting much moves here. I don't like the flat call waste. So Nine just doesn't play that well. Uh, he's going for the really small three bet. One last one, I suppose. One point one five. But a non uh, yeah. I wonder necessarily not committing through that. Yeah, I wonder if Feraldo flats here. Obviously, like, Chance hasn't got many chips behind. But he has set Feraldo a decent price. Is it not a case of. <laughs> with. Is he not going to just three bet jam a lot of the hands he's want to get in? I mean, how many, how many hands does he three bet small and then call it off here? Yeah, I'm saying, like, the fact that he's got no ICM consideration, I'm saying, like, he's basically, like, saying he's. He's got top of his range, like yeah. aces or kings. Because if he had ace king, I, I don't I see. Rips. I'm saying like a lot of people aren't balanced there a lot of the time, where they, whereas they should be. Well, yeah, like I didn't think Feraldo would fold here. Where it does make the call. But yeah, I mean, obviously Zeno is on a shorter stack than Chancey. How many chips has Zeno got? So Zeno's on about 16 picks. Well, fair enough. So there is, there's, there is a bit of ICM yeah. consideration. So it makes me think he's just going to three-bit jam a lot of his best hands. And what's the flop there? Jack, deuce, four, diamonds, well. He's been fortunate there in the sense that the chips are going to go in here. Right. But he's been fortunate that he's smashed a board with ace-9 offsuit, which right. is doesn't happen that often because the hand doesn't play that well. And he does just move it in. Like, at this stage now, like it's an easy call for Feraldo because the only hands he ever does this with are like over pairs without a diamond. He calls, and here we go then. It is Ferraldo with the better hand. Top pair against Chance with a nut flush draw and one over card. Chance at risk of elimination, but a 9.4 million chip pot would see him right back in the mix here. Of course, if Ferraldo to win it, he would get right up behind Darren in the chip counts and bring us to the four remaining players. Well, 10 of diamonds on the turn. As quick as that. Chance gets the double up. Yep. 
<laughs> I got that out of the way. Not even a sweat. Three, three and a quarter. Three on the top. There we go. Unlucky for Ferraldo there. Well, here we get us out of looks. You see, Zeno is the shortest stack. And that's a double up to catch Ferraldo. And small with 9-7. Yeah. yeah, it was great to see you as well, Robert. Yeah, I was about to say, three, four, of course, five. Kilted Sharks popped in here. Team Scotland for the one, definitely. I'm going to have to be biased here on the commentary booth. And <laughs> There's nothing wrong with a bit of bias, mate. Yeah, and, and root for Feraldo. Unfortunately, he lost that last hand. You mean so you could throw in the mark? <laughs> no. Ace Jack, right in the mark. Chris has checked his straight draw, perhaps surprisingly here, having him from the small. Darren's bet second pair. But he is up against the chip leader. He doesn't want to be forced like to bet, then get raised, then all of a sudden he's going to play a big pot, whereas he didn't need to. He could check call. Good luck, my friend. That way he gives himself an option to get to see the river card. And wow, what a turn card that is for him. Fantastic. I knew if it was going to be for Christopher. He's still going to keep the same line and check it. And it's a good chance Darren's like going to check it back here. Really He's got like the worst day you can right. like ever bet. Well, and that three on is the river. Nice. If Christopher does seem or, like does find a, a check here, unlikely. But if he did, well, what if he what if he bets? Does does Darren not raise? No, I just I think it just calls depending on the sizing. Right, that's what I'm saying. If he goes to kind of like a block sizing. That's the thing with the game at this moment in time. I'm saying, like, it would have to be a very small sizing. Right, it is pretty small. 350. Well, that's perfect. Darren's going to make it like 1.1 million. I would just assume that Darren would just snap call. Right. If he went like 70% pot, I would assume he'd just go half pot. Right, he's got um, 1.6 by the looks of things here. That's monstrous. I thought he was going to go like 1.1. He's went 1.6. Just trying to get Chris to hero him. He does, he does beat like 5-6. That's the only two pair that he beats and gets maybe called off of. But there's all sorts of levels involved in these situations. You can level yourself. There goes the time bag. You might do here. But the question is, if he were to turn some sort of hand into a bluff, I'm trying to think what hand would he get to this stage with. Wow, he's burning all the time. Cards. I think he's just trying to... Terence nope. obviously thinks he's got the best hand. I don't know if he's made up his mind and decided he's going to shove all in or he's, he's trying to think what is the best because he is very much yeah, like one of the best players online. He's done a lot of work in this game in the last few years. So he's actually probably running everything through his head, thinking to himself, what does he have? What can he think that I have that I could be turning into a bluff? Here we go. And he's going to go... He's went for 5.2 million. Okay. Wow, and Lars wants to be sick. But yeah, he has left himself those chips back, perhaps making it look like it could be a bluff. So he's ended up going in between the all-in and the four mile, you know, whatever we were talking about. Right, my only question he, is... He's thinking clearly, my, my like, question, what are the hands here that he's bluffing, turning well, into a bluff? The question I was going to ask you is, obviously, his value hands are pretty much, what, just the nuts. Hmm. Like, um, Cause and, he and my, I'll come back to my thought, which was, I asked you, you know, does Christopher not usually bet this flop? And there we go, he has made the call. <laughs> I think the fact that he played the hand so so good by not leading the flop with 7-9. Th that's what that's what's it, sold it. They doesn't, he, yeah, surely yeah. he'd expect him to lead 7-9. Because if he had like 7-4, obviously it's a totally different situation in the sense it's five-handed and there's a lot of ICM involved now. Right. But if we were playing like basic poker when there was like 50 players left, mm -hmm. if he had 9-7 here right, he'd, and he'd, there's no ICM consideration, he would lead. Yeah. And he would I play this hand differently, I think. Do you think that's what's coming to... 5-3... Mickey, you got that eighteen dollars? You got that eighteen dollars? Sorry, Anthony. Roughly, how much did you? Oh, oh wow, it's a sigh. disaster. Sigh for Feraldo. <laughs> we dealt back. some rough spots. This is another one. Ace King against Zeno's Kings. Yeah. It's just a spot he'll think for a little bit and jam, right? Twenty-three bigs. Nothing else he can do. Does move all in. We've seen Zeno sneak loads through, but... Oh, oh that's interesting. Spicy. Ferrado with backdoor clubs and now a gut shot. We can call in the nine of, nine of clubs on the top. Nine of clubs. So you're going for nine of clubs, yeah? Yeah. Well, extra sweat. Three of clubs. Let's go. For max sweat. I'd say three of clubs. Three of clubs is fair. Okay, the players are saying three of clubs. 
Oh, oh grid. <laughs> <laughs> Looks at the diva. We all agree. <laughs> so Ferraldo will need that ace or queen on the river. Otherwise, Zena will double up. Super sweat. Five on the river. Three, five off <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Oh. He is, of course, joking. Yeah, he's obviously just <laughs> having a laugh. The other to Effin Rock. Well, he goes for Aldo, ace three. And Chance is going to probably look him up. I guess just flat. Yeah. yeah. Four cards. He's actually, Chance has got very lucky here that he's actually Which one do I need? in very oh, good yeah, shape. Right, yeah. Calling with fives in you. Yeah, I'm saying like, that's why I'm saying like, <laughs> maybe fives is like the cutoff point here. Because you don't really want to be calling deuces, threes, fours. Especially with those guys behind you, right? Maybe well, not even fives with two players behind you. Even though Feraldo's <laughs> short and he's jamming a large part of his range. Well, let's see what he's He's going to have here. two overs a lot of the time. For the second all in a row, he needs an ace <laughs> up against a pair. Mm. Why not just get the 10 10 9 flop? I like it, give them those extra outs. Like oh. the, we need the board nice. to board the pair. Queen Jack 6, well, he's called for it himself. Board the pair. Board, board the, the pair. pair. Pair the board. Pair the board. I've even got you doing it now. You said board the pair, I tricked you. <laughs> board the pair. I'm trying to give it Jump on the pair, that's what board the pair means. No, I didn't, I agree. Pair the board is what he's asking for, or seven uh, on the how turn. How unfortunate <laughs> is that? <laughs> <Just> like, <laughs> any ten, any king, any six, jack, queen gives some additional outs. Well, he still can't get out of this with an ace on the river. What will it be? Ah, oh, it is a ten, and that is it. Ferraldo. GG, Ferraldo. There's a few all ins there. Unfortunate will leave in fifth yeah. place. I think that's very, very likely it will be hitting the bar very, I very shortly. A, I think that's a fair shout. Anyone who knows him. Well, look at this. Ferraldo out in fifth, and just another player that Chance has knocked out. He's now knocked out four of the five players on this final table. Pocket of Queens. That's not a bad hand. Chance has been playing a lot of hands, now finds Pocket Queens. Makes it 550 to play. Oh my. Oh my, oh my, oh my. Oh dear chance. Apotheosis has got pocket aces. Oh, how long is this going to take to get in? It's going to go like 1.375. It's went big, 1.8. And is Chance going to shove all in? I think he is. Or is he going to just flat call? I assume he's going to be all in. I think you're going to just be happy with the amount of money you're going to win from the hand in the first place. At the same time, as you don't want to risk getting... Or he's going to call, he's just called, okay, fair enough. Kept his bluffs in. Keeping things sneaky here on the final table. Four million chips in the middle. Like if there was a, like a short stack there, I would assume that he would be all in. Right. So nobody's short, which means... Right, he wants to... He wants to keep his bluffs in at the same time as... Right. There's not a lot of ICM. Yeah, ICM. yeah he's not just trying to... But I was, I was actually expecting them to go all in, still. This. Chris checks it over to Chance, who surely now will bet. This is just a range check what? from Christopher. Wow, and a check from Chance. Hmm. What's going on here, Ludo? Oh, it, must be, it must be Chance's live tales. He <laughs> <laughs> must have just called pre-flop to set mine. Look, it's gone set mine in, just got himself a free turn. Well, Christopher's just done a, a range check on the flop. Right, he's just going to check his entire range on, on that kind of flop. Yeah, because it smashes his chances range. He checks it And he's still going to balance it with his ace jacks, his ace queens, his ace kings. Right. Or giving up. This happens, this has been happening a lot recently, I'm saying like, with poker, I'm saying like, the aggression comes pre-flop, then all of a sudden it all slows <laughs> down. Well, Chance is going to find a bit now. With his queens, 1.75 the bet. 
Mm. The fact that he's not got the ace of spades in his hand, Christopher, he might feel as if Chance has picked up a flush draw, which kind of does make a little bit of right, sense. Right, wh what are the other bluffs that he's going to bet with here? Hmm. I don't know, like maybe he just thinks as if he can get him off at ace king, ace queen. Maybe just bluff like king queen suited, king jack suited, jack queen suited, king oh, jack suited. This seven and a half million now in the pot chance. After both six point six back. After both pairs, a three's oh. a, a three's a good card because nobody should have a four. Right. Is there a chance that chance would ever have pocket fours here, or is he always going to check men back on the turn okay. if he had peeled with them pre? Which is obviously even a, a big question in itself. Mm. I don't think anybody should be concerned about a four here. Okay, so his chances line here then. Especially not chance. Chance never has a four. Right, so I suppose Chris could have got out of line pre flop. I feel like one. ace four of spades. Right. Maybe ace four of hearts if he's going to just be balanced and check that flop all the time. Well, 2.4 the bet. Aces. Snap call. Wow. And uh, <laughs> Chris says aces and. My chance, I think, pretty feels a little fortunate to still be in, given he got dealt Queens versus Aces four-handed. You see there now, Chris, up to 22 million chips is our chip leader, just to be in the mix still. As blinds go up to 150, 300. Chris then, Queen, Jack on the button. Three, 600. And of course, raise that one up. And my chance, it's down at Ace four in the big. I think he's going to be all in here. Four-handed, it's just a big hand, I guess, but he's limping. I mean, calling. Well, King Jack three. Chris does have him beat. Surprised I'm surprised he didn't shove pre-flop, to be honest. And this is the board, of course, that Chris there is just going to see better lot, right? There's no real consideration. I'm saying, like, obviously, he still wants to give himself a chance to get back in the game, but... Out of possession, ace four. It's not going to flop too well. Does Chris ever not see bet this flop? King Jack three, Rainbow raising up the short stance call at the blind. You just see being 100% here? I think even with no hand, it doesn't pick up. Well, I don't think there's any hand that doesn't pick up some sort of equity. So, like, I think he see bets this flop 100%. Yeah. yeah. So it looked like to me on that board. Well, Chance did therefore make the call with his ace high. Please check that. Let's check back. That's interesting as well. It, it blocks all the other jacks, obviously. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be hard to get called twice off a three. Okay. And you can still have a king. <laughs> this would be quite sick if Chance checks and he bets for value and Chance jams all in. Even <laughs> though like it's a, a nonsense blocker because he never have a has 4-5. Right. Obviously, he can't, he can't have 4-5. Bet 1.1. Which is always oh, good. Just getting Chris is just snapping it, right? Or, uh, well, always calling. I'm not saying he's going to snap it. He's going to call, yeah. And so Chance now. Down to 12 bigs. Yeah, I don't think Chance played that hard too well. I'm saying, like, I, th I would have jammed it all in pretty flop. What's he trying to make fold there? King Queen under the gun. And the big blind is what? 300. So you've got 13 bigs. Moves it in. 13 big blinds and King Queen four-handed is an all-in every day of the week. Oh. And I'm pretty sure Christopher like cool. is going to call us. He may even just re-jam. How many, how many chips does yeah, Darren might, have? I was going to say that he might. It's a four million jam. Darren's. Oh, okay. okay. If Darren has like ten million there, maybe it's just yeah, a re-jam. Darren's on about ten million. Yeah, Darren's got nine million, so it would have been. Uh. That's what Chris is rooting for. Ten six four. Nothing so far. So far for chance. We need a king, queen, or some runners for a straight. Well, deuce. No good. We'll need a king or a queen. <laughs> oh man, here it comes. He's done the stand up. He's done all the live pro tricks. He stood up to ensure it comes a king or a queen. Oh, There's oh, an oh. ace on the river. That will be that yeah, for yeah. chance. That's one of the office, one of the I don't know if he was in the. I didn't see him in the 10k. I'm not sure he was in there. So maybe he came in just for the 25k in the main. I'm not sure. Neither we. Express or. These players and myself and Ludo will be going on a break shortly. About 10 minutes left in this level. We will, of course, be coming back to show you all of this final table. As well, Zeno checks back his 10 on the Jack Jack 10 board. 
Darren with a gut shot. Yeah, Darren's going to bet this, I think. But Zeno did check it back pretty quick. But I still expect Darren to bet this. Like 800k or something. One million. One point two million. One point two the bet. Anthony's gonna call. Yeah, Zena's done himself a nice spot here. Elias putting in chips with just a nine percent equity. A king would be an interesting card. Wait, let's let's see a king. You want to see who goes for it on a king? Yeah. Oi, oh my oi. How, how do you do this, Ludo? But there is three hearts there. How but do you do it? I'm loving the fact it's a king. Go for it. Go for it. Three million. Three million. Three point five million. There we go. That is the bet. Right. Okay. Good luck. If Anthony calls here, well done. But I think it's a fold. Yeah, of course. Loses to a lot of hands now. Flush straight. All those trip jacks. Probably not expecting. Uh, He's not expecting, of course, Darren to bet this size of the king. It's it's hands that have got there, right? Like queen nine and well, he, the heart draws and a jack. I'm saying, like, this is one of the only hands that you would, like, kind of put right at the bottom where he does have as a bluff, like queen eight. Offsuit or suited. But um, apart from that, he's going to be thinking he only, he only bluffs. He only beats some um, eight, nine. Right. These type of hands. Yeah. See, so it does make the fold. They want to chill out, they want something, they all agree to it, it's their table, right. they get what they this want. This is going to go 1950 if he keeps his 150 in the middle. <laughs> there 1950. it is, 1950. And Darren's not going to mess about here three-handed with pocket tens. He is going to be all in and Anthony is going to call. And Croc obviously loving this, all if he's going to get it in, he's... Here it is then, all in, Zeno oh. snaps. And whoever These two wins, then flipping away here. Whoever wins gets to actually go up against the chip leader with a fighting chance. And you see, Zeno does have him slightly covered, 1.1 1. 1 back. That's just too many out situations, surely. Well, Queen Deuce 3, Zeno smashes that one. And 9 on the river. That's unfortunate. That'll seal it. I think 11. Uh, hold on. Well, we'll just check it. But check it. Of course, they will always check it with the graphics. Would suggest. Zeno's done very well. He, he, obviously, yeah. you've got to win your flips, I'm saying, but he's done extremely well for the whole tournament. He's been grinding it out, short stack. Don't forget the main event is taking place starting today. We've had uh, only 165 entries on the first day one. We need 2,000 entries for our 10 million guarantee. Sure, it's going to pick up considerably towards the weekend, and uh, obviously you can buy in for the first four levels of day two as well, or re-enter should you've got through with a short day one stack and get unlucky. Oh, Zeno raises the button. Chris defends king three. Of course, the hands that they're going to be raising and defending with are completely different to what you've seen earlier. <laughs> right, yeah. Of course, heads up. You're going to play nearly every hand. Come on, look at this. Zeno pops an open ender. Three of hearts against seven five. Of course, Zeno having raised pre flops, going to bet this flop, isn't he, Simon? Of course, and eight of hearts on the turn would give us a, <laughs> a huge action card. You're calling for Bud already, I like it. Question whether Chris wants to continue here with King High. Does have some good turn cards to continue on, like you say, any heart, and of course, three is around that four. Deuce five or seven would give him some extra cards to chase. Well, King, certainly a good card for him. Quick check from Chris. Actually, back on Hensi. Probably elect to check back here. 
Will he keep up pressure? That's the question. Let me say. I see Chris's hand. He'd certainly check that. Right. Maybe he's going like to try and make it. 2.6 million. Bet two million. Yeah, he's bet two million. He's trying to put pressure on a six or a four. Chris though with a king. See, there was the pre-flop raiser, 775. Chris called. Oh. <coughs> well, Chris does make the call with his king. So 6.65 in the middle. River, wow, gin for Zeno. The nuts. Now, what I like to do here is the same size bet that I made on the turn. Is he optimistic that Chris perhaps has an ace when he's checked called twice? He might go really big. You'd go two million then, about third part. Yeah, I would, yeah. He's going a lot deeper. Yeah, I think if he, if he thinks he's up against an ace, he may be a bit big here. He's going really big. So he's going for the pot again, six million. Bad. Seven million, in fact, he's going slightly over the pot. Yeah. Falling in the uh, mindset, Simon, of, well, I've got a good hand, I'll bet a lot. The thing is, what can your opponent possibly call with? This is River two pair. You're not likely to get paid. He does fold. <coughs> well, says so you know, unlucky his opponent didn't have anything, but of course lucky to River the straight. Now takes the lead. Yeah, flip there. Bet wow. got raised, and he had the nuts. And he used three time chips before re-raising. Really? And got called. <laughs> That's an interesting way of using them. Clearly will defend with this hand. Yeah, seven eight of diamonds. Well, here we go, Simon. You were wondering. First time we've had a three bet. It's not going to get through. <laughs> Zeno with ace ten of clubs will be going nowhere. I wonder, I wonder if he'll four bet. <laughs> I, no, I don't think he can four bet. Simon with ace ten of clubs is just too nice a hand. You've got position. Play so well, it'd be criminal to not see a flop with this hand if he were to get five bet. And obviously, he can be in really good shape. Doesn't let Chris fold out those hands. Well, he wow! Does. He does fold Just bet. drops the hammer. <laughs> I am shocked with that. Just drops it in on Chris. Well, at least, as I say, it'd be criminal to fall back and not get to see the flop. He, he made sure he's seeing a flop, at least. Which of these guys will walk away with the title? I think we definitely had a guess earlier in the chat when Zeno was very short. Someone did suggest Zeno. He's a pretty good shout. 750. Harrison Shea said Zeno would win. Really? It's just as things started. A pretty bold guess from there. Both players raising their button pretty much 100% of the time. Great flop here for Zeno, flopping top two. Or Chris Seabet with his queen four. Yeah, that's true, really. It's not good enough to take the showdown, and there are some turn cards that he can barrel on. Deuce three, six will give him a straight draw, and eight, of course. Yeah, this is a good spot here. You know, he's asking, he's asking for how much it was. Quite often, when people ask questions, they raise. I'd actually like to see him just call here. Yeah, I mean, he wants to just call, surely. Top two, let your opponent bluff. Well, here we go then. This is one of the cards he can barrel. Picks up an open in his straight draw. Now, does he check back and get a free card for the straight? Well, obviously, obviously, yeah, the, the flip side of it being a good card for him because he can barrel and make a straight is, of course, Ant has check called that flop, so six may well have improved his hand a lot of the time. It does. And I think Antti would have check raised there. 
Oh, wow. wow, look at this. This is going to be a turning point for this final. That's uh, extremely well hidden straight for Chris. Yeah, Anton have a form. Wow, Anton's made a check. That's a great check. I'm shocked he's checked there. You think he could bet there. Now, Chris, well, just a question of how big. And you fully just got to go really big here. Mm. Of course, the thing is, if it, you, most players, if they did have a four in their hand, would have bet that turn, even if they were C bet the flop, having picked up the straight draw. Right, he knew, you'd think he'd have, have to have it. a four with a pair, wouldn't you? And then yeah. most of those pairs wouldn't bet the flop. He had five, four, seven, four. He might just check back the flop. So he does go big, as I say, about one and a half times the pot here. Manzino with top two. How can he fold? You see him doing anything, Mike? Uh, Simon, sorry, but paying this off. Well, he has to think it through and ultimately oh, make the call. Three. So he's not going to like it, but <laughs> he's going to see a top two yeah. against Queen four on the ace five seven runner, runner. Somehow lost a big pot. Yeah, he's not going to be happy about that. Frozen King Queen. Zeno defends Ace Five, flop Ace Ten Eight. Chris with a gut shot. Zeno has flopped top pair. C1 bets 1.1 million. Has taken a step, 1.1 the bet. That's a call. Cena, of course, will call with his aces. Turn a six of diamonds. So Zeno's still out in front with that pair of aces. But Chris now has a Good flush shot to go with his gut shot. 3.9 in the middle. Gonna fire once more. Three point two the bet. Three point two Zeno's top pair still good. hard. Surely it was just a call here in this spot. Wow. Wow. So, you know, just check folds. That's amazing. Mm. That's a very, very tight fold from him. A couple of times, Zeno's you know, maybe fold a little too tight here. <laughs> Both seen the same film. Here comes the three bet. 3.5 and Wazina going nowhere with 10 line of clubs. Definitely not. This could be this could be the Oh god, please don't do the all in with nine ten of clubs. He did it with Queen Jack of Hearts. I don't think he'll uh I'll play this for any more. Such a beautiful hand. Does have position. Two and a half to call. Yeah, we'll be on the seven million pot once he does call. Yeah, that's a definite hand he's to he could clash here. <laughs> he's going to make the call. He's not going to pull the trigger. <laughs> okay, nine ten of clubs versus pocket kings. Potentially the biggest pot of this heads up. 
coming. Well, action killer ace. Six, seven out there. Ant does now have a gutter. But the one card Chris didn't want to see. He just flat called, didn't he? The three bet. So if he has got an ace, it's not a big ace. Yeah, I think, I mean, Chris would be fairly sure he wouldn't have ace king anyway, obviously with two kings in his hand. But yeah, yeah ace queen, you expect he might have gone with. So, well, that, hand, that card will obviously make Chris feel a lot happier about life. Can't be outdrawn by another two pair. Less likely he is behind. Interesting spot here, what to do. And check back that flop. You know, he doesn't really ever have king high because he's got two kings in his hand. I hope he's got a pair of some yeah, sort, or at least bet. a decent draw. Got shot draws, unlike if he does bet very small. Yeah. Bet two point one. Zina lets it go. Oh. Fifty-two forty-two. As you can see, then this is the Party Poker Millions North America twenty-five k super high roller. We started with thirty-four unique players having thirteen re-entries, giving us a total of forty-seven. We're now a heads up. Christopher has S five of diamonds. Anthony has pocket sevens. We've only seen three pairs in this heads up: five, sevens, and kings. Either way, we saw him three bed ace three of diamonds earlier. Ooh, ooh, little st oh, wow. Three all Surely Anthony's going to call here. Come this. on, Anthony. This is it. Ace five versus sevens. This is it, Simon. We have it all in. Christopher does cover Anthony, but has the worst hand, basically, for the title. Queen, Jack Deuce. So far, so good for Zeno. Looking for the double up. Chris will need to hit one of those aces if he wants to win it here and now. Well, turn queen does give him a few more outs. A jack will do it. Can win it dirty, Simon. Heads up play. Oh, <laughs> my, it's a jack on the river. There and it is. we have our winner. Jack on the river. That's how he did it. He did it dirty. Zeno <laughs>, laughs. Yeah, man. Sorry about that. That's cool. Well, Chris is your champion of the 25k super high roller here at the Party Poker Live Millions North America Festival. He needed a jack on the river to do it. But, well, he put in a pretty clinical performance today, Simon, on the final table.